for my channel. I don't know. That was a weird intro. Today it is time for June favorite. Oh wait! Guys, holy crap, I literally just realized, no, it's July. Wanted to let you guys know, I know I keep trying and I have many failed attempts, but I am actually going to be doing Vlogist over on my second channel. For those of you that do not know what that is, what that is basically meaning, or not basically meaning, what that means is that I'm going to vlog every single day on my vlog channel for the month of August. I've kind of been vlogging more and more anyways, but I'm going to do it every single day. And without giving any hints away, I may be doing something similar to that on this channel in the month of September. Maybe. Go over to my second channel and please subscribe if you haven't already if you're interested in watching Vlogist because I love doing follow me around vlogs and I'm going to be doing tags and all kinds of stuff. So that is the first thing. The second thing is I just want to let you guys know this will be my third month I believe of doing fate. Wow that's crazy. It is my third month. This is gonna be my third month of doing random favorites over on my second channel as well. So I'm going to link that to this video. With that being said, um, I guess let's jump right into this. One thing that I've really been into this month are toners. Not toners like cotton pad toners, but like sprays, like refreshing toner mists type things. So I have been using three all month and I've literally been using them so much, I'm almost out of all three. I'm like obsessed. I have really dry skin that will overproduce oil to try to like make up for the fact that my skin is so dry. So these feel amazing to me. So the first one has been in my favorites before, so I'll do that first. And that is the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Spray. Um, it's just like it sounds. It's just a rose water spray. Really basic. That's all it is, is rose water spray. Um, I believe, yeah, $6 at last end. Really great deal. You can't see, but I'm literally like down to there. So that stuff's awesome. I will use it sometimes to set my makeup or at night sometimes. I'll just, like, I will multiple times through the night as I'm like hanging out, watching TV shows, editing, whatever. I will multiple times through the night go to the bathroom and like spritz myself with my face and chest with stuff to just kind of like add moisture and keep my skin like supple so um the next toner is this Moroccan rose facial toner by Davida um this is also a rose toner but there's more to it than just rose this also has like aloe vera gel witch hazel um what else does it have? Green tea. So this has a lot more stuff to it and this one was much more expensive. This was like $25 but this is a really good toner too and I like that it has other things in it as well. Aloe vera is known to be very soothing. Witch hazel is known to kind of clean the skin. It's um, antiseptic, I believe. It's an antiseptic. Antiseptic. Why can't I say that? Um, so yeah, this is a really good one too. And the smell, not that you buy something like for your face just for the smell, but dude, it smells so good. So um, I'm really interested in trying some more products eventually from this brand because I've heard a lot of really great stuff. And apparently DeVito was made by a woman who like was wanting really effective skincare for like dehydrated older skin that was natural and she couldn't find what she wanted so she created the line um and I think she was like a makeup artist or something like that so cool and last but not least ah uh, Derma E Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Mist um and it's right here this is a very little bottle but I like this because hyaluronic acid for those of you who don't know is an ingredient that sucks in moisture from the air and it can hold up to I want to say like a thousand times its weight in water so what it does is it plumps up the skin Skin. It holds the hydration in your skin and it really makes your skin feel moist and plump. And hyaluronic acid is something that our body naturally creates anyways, that as we get older, our body is kind of depleted of it. So um, you can do, like, our body reacts really well to hyaluronic acid for the most part. I mean, I, you can't ever say everyone, but um, mine does and I'll take pills sometimes too of hyaluronic acid because our body makes it, so our body recognizes it. And I'll take it internally, not only to moisturize or hydrate my skin from the inside out, but also to help with like my joints, because hyaluronic acid is in your joints as well. So um, yeah, I really like this stuff. It's a little bottle, but I really, really like it. So yay for toners. So moving on to makeup. Um, this first item, these first, or these first two things, um, they've both been in favorites videos before, but I figure I'd mention them again because I really, really love them, and I've discovered something kind of new about my face this month, and I don't know if you guys have had the same experience, but well, first let me tell you what they are. The products are, the first one is this Bobbi Brown um, Illuminating Finishing, Illuminating Finish Powder Compact Foundation, SPF 12, 
Alabaster 00. I wouldn't call this a compact foundation. Um, it's really just a powder, but it's really, really light. And for those of you that are very, very fair like me, it's definitely worth a try because Bobbi Brown's stuff um, is really, like her 00 color is really fair and it really works well for me. Like, I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but it's really fair and it's pretty neutral, but leaning more towards yellow, which for me works really well. Um, and the next product I've been loving, the other powder is the Mac prep and prime, um, transparent finishing powder right here. So I like this. I think I've mentioned this before. The reason why I like it is because it is meant to be translucent, but it definitely does have a white, like, cast to it, which most people would not like having a white cast. I do though, because most things on my face throughout the day, um, they get more and more yellow as the day goes on. So I like this because if I blotted and I still want to put a little powder on, I can put this on without being worried that my face is just going to turn more yellow or orange. Um, it doesn't oxidize. So I really, really like this stuff. So what I was going to say that I've learned about my skin this month, which I thought was really interesting and I may eat my words and find something else later but this month I've been trying and experimenting more with using no bronzer and some of you might be like well this is a giant duh when I've talked about my skin um oxidizing and it doesn't oxidize like it used to like really at all I mean it's just not like it used to but it still oxidizes sometimes so I've been trying this thing where I haven't been using bronzer and what I had done before is I would use bronzer like here I would just kind of contour my face but it would still oxidize. So this month I've been trying to not use bronzer and I actually think for my face it's better. It gives me, because I'm so fair, it gives me like, it can make me look dirty sometimes. And not using the bronzer has kept my face and my makeup looking more, um, more like even and not flawless because my skin just isn't flawless, but more even, that's the best way to put it throughout the whole day versus kind of getting splotchy and soaking in in weird places. So I haven't been wearing bronzer and I think I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna use bronzer very often. I mean, I might sometimes if I'm going out and I want a really dramatic look, but I have been liking my face that bronzer. I'm not wearing any bronzer today. The lights kind of wash me out, but that's pretty close to what I look like. Um, So, Yes, that's what I've been liking for powders. Um, in terms of, I found a new favorite liquid eyeliner. I love this stuff. Now, this is funny because BH Cosmetics actually reached out to me like five months ago or something like that, maybe longer, and they sent me some stuff and they wanted to work with me. And we actually ended up, I ended up not working with them on this, but I still had the stuff. And I pulled this out like maybe, pfft, I don't know, the first week into July, and I used it just because my liquid liner was dry, and holy Toledo, this eyeliner is so good. This is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner, and it's like a pen, but the application is so smooth, and it doesn't smudge like anywhere on my eyes throughout the day, and I do a winged liner always when I use liquid liner, so I really, really love this stuff a lot. So yay, BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. It's really, really good. So the next thing I've been loving has been my Benetton. I've pulled this back out. I've been wearing this on my lips a lot lately. I'm wearing it on my lips today. And for my skin color, I really like the tint that this gives me. It's a very berry, like natural kind of color. And I really, really like that. I like it for days where I'm not wearing any makeup because I can just put this on, let it dry, put some lip balm on and some big sunglasses. But I like it for days when I am wearing lip or um, makeup because same thing, it's like it just, I don't know, it just looks good. It doesn't ever look bad. So I really like this. The the thing's all worn off because I've had this forever and this crap is like impossible to get through. There's so much in here. But I've been using it a ton lately and I really, really like this stuff. It's kind of hard to get used to how to use it and I only use it on my lips, but I really like it. So favorite blushes have been a mix of colors lately and I've kind of just gone back, like I said, I'm not using bronzer and I've kind of gone back to the colors that I know work for me. And that's one thing that is really, I've been learning this month too, is, and it's been like a favorite, is going more with what I know about my skin and my hair. Because sometimes I listen to other people and that's fine, I let, you guys are watching this and listening to me, but I wanna encourage you to go with your gut on things, like you know your hair and your skin and it really is true when people say there is no one thing fits all and everybody is different so same thing kind of comes with this like I have found that the best colors that work on me are pinks like pure pinks and berry colors I don't really do well as much as I love them with like warmer colors and oranges and I always 
like want to try them but they always end up looking dirty on me because I am so so fair so these three colors have been my favorite I've had these since last year I'm at and I've been mixing them together but they're all Kevin Aquan this little pink this bright pink and this berry color um I don't remember the names I will list them down below though I'll find them and list them um but they're so pretty and I'll just literally take my brush and I'll go like do 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 and then I'll go boop and I'll do it again do 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 boop and I really like the color it's really just because I can't decide I like all three of those colors separately but I can't ever decide so I've been wearing that and I really like the color that gives me and I don't end up looking dirty in a couple hours like I do with some other uh, cheap colors that I really really love but just don't work long term for me um some of these other colors work short term or if I'm going out to dinner at night but they just don't last through the day so next thing is my current favorite perfume I bought this a while ago because my friend Tati or glam life guru here on YouTube I will link her down below she recommended this perfume to me because I smelled her one day and I was like holy crap Tati you smell amazing and she was like oh I'm wearing this and I went to Costco and I found it and I bought it and this is Lolita Lampica or Lampica or however you say it and I wore it a little bit at first but then I was kind of like meh whatever like I have so many scents I was like okay on to the next and I've been so in love with Juicy still I'm in love with Juicy but I pulled this out this month and I have been freaking obsessed with this stuff it's so good it's like it's like a vanilla sweet like I don't even know how to explain this. They sell it at Costco though, because that's where I got this. And it is, oh, I'm choking on perfume. <clears throat> I do that every time. Yucky. Um, But it is so, so good. And I'll be out and it lasts. Like Juicy, I love Viva La Juicy, but it doesn't last. And with this stuff, I spray it on my points. I go out through the day, still choking on perfume. And halfway through the day, I can smell my hand. Like yesterday, I was driving home through traffic, and traffic was really annoying me, and I like needed like a peaceful feeling. So I lifted my arm up, and I smelled my wrist, and I was like, ah, oh. I was like immediately calm because I could still smell it, but I hadn't sprayed it since yesterday morning. So I really, really love this stuff, and yeah, it's really, really yummy smelling. So the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about are fashion favorites. I have been wearing this bag all the time, and every single time I post a picture of it on Instagram, everyone's like, where'd you? that bag and I know people are getting frustrated because I've been talking about just fab all the time but I'm kind of just going to keep talking about them until there's stuff I don't like their stuff or something because this is from just fab and I absolutely love it and it's funny because this purse when I ordered it I kind of ordered it like oh that's cute like I had credits they sent me a credit and I was like okay that's cute I liked it but I wasn't like head over heels freaking out about it but since I got it I think it's one of my favorite purses I've gotten from Just Fab. I really like it and I don't own a white purse so it's kind of fun and like the trim of the like the saddle color saddle colored leather um looks so classic. It kind of reminds me of like a really like a classic sophisticated girly sports car. I know that's a really weird comparison but I really really like this bag and ah, I just like it so much. I've been trying not to wear it every single day but I'm wearing it a ton and I really really like it so yeah this month I have been loving floral tennis shoes I know that's really random but I have been loving them so this first pair are by Madden girl which is I guess an off thing of Steve Madden and they're like looks so gross on the inside um I got these at Ross but they're like little uh like top siders kind of or top sliders whatever you say except they're floral prints so those are really cute I got those for $13 at Ross so um I actually saw a girl at church wearing them and I was like totally a freak I ran up to her I was like where'd you get your shoes she looked like so scared of me. She was like, I got him at Ross. Like, I'm sorry, person. I'm sure you aren't watching this, but hey. Um, so I ran out to Ross and I found them there and I got them and they're so, so cute. And my second favorite pair of floral tennis shoes are right behind me. I actually think these are like my favorite of the two. I really love these. I'm wearing them all the time. And I was showing you guys on Instagram. And you guys were like, where'd you get them? I got these at Target and these were like $15. And they're right here. They kind of look like Vans or or Keds or something like that, but they're like floral print and they're so cute and I've been loving wearing them with like skinny jeans and like a cute t-shirt with like some Ray-Ban type sunglasses and I've absolutely been loving them. Okay guys, so that is it. Don't forget to go over and subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see me doing vloggist. Also, check out my blog. It's up on my computer behind me. It's NikkiPhilippi.com. I post pictures on there all the time of all kinds of things things from like my life mirror pictures dates with dan obsessive pictures of my doggy so yeah i guess that is it i will see you all next time and august favorites will probably come really really fast and i'll probably still think of july favorites but yeah bye guys